Welcome back to Real Milwaukee. Did you know that research has found that people who track what they eat and weigh in on a regular basis actually lose weight and keep it off? Yeah, it sounds like a lot of work, but it doesn't have to be. And registered dietitian Lisa Grezelanik with your Tasty Life is back today with some apps to make it easier. And we've got to talk before we start. Cassandra's been doing this. Mm -hmm. Tell people a little bit about what you've been doing. I actually ripped the Band-Aid off and got on the scale November 1st. And when I came back from my coma, <laughs> I thought, oh my God, uh, whose butt is that? You better get busy. <laughs> and so I did uh, what you've talked about doing. I'm just paying attention. No mm -hmm. gimmicks, no diet. I'm, I'm cooking. Mm -hmm. And I weigh myself every morning, so I'll never have that sticker shock again. Mm -hmm. And I write down every single thing I, eat, I count everything. Mm -hmm. And that's working really well, 17 pounds. So far, and I've got many right. more to go. Right, but, yeah. so, but it's accountability. Yeah, it's accountability. So there, it's an undeniable, undeniable fact that calorie counting or tracking, whatever word you want to use, it does help people lose weight. Um, it does give you some measurable metrics to go mm -hmm. off of. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, there's lots of benefits to it. And that's why it's stuck around for many, many, many years. It might be the most researched positive thing to do to help individuals lose weight. But there are some cons. And that's kind of what a lot of people will say. Like, well, I know it's good, but it takes too much time. Or, um, you know, I, I just can't fit into my day kind of thing. The thing I find with food, the apps, and we'll go into some of the apps in a second, is I think sometimes, because it does take a second to put in what you're eating sometimes, mm -hmm. um, it may lend people to do more what I call box food or convenience food. Anything that has a barcode, you can easily nowadays scan into your uh, food apps with your phone, with your little guy here. You can just scan it and it goes in. So I find sometimes it um, makes people maybe do that. And you might be selecting the wrong data if you are using um, a casserole recipe that's not the same as yours, and you're selecting that one. It might not be as accurate right. for you. Right. And the portion control, too. Right. So your information is as good as you put in. So if you say you're eating an ounce of turkey, but you're eating four ounces, well, then it's going to be off. And I'm also it's called not a food scale. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> Did you I'm get a, one of those too? Oh yes. Right. Oh, good for I'm you. I'm not a huge fan either of just a calorie focus. So in other words, there's so much more to the quality of food we're eating. So if the only thing I'm focused on is calories, mm -hmm. sure, it might lose weight, but you might not be truly healthy. Well, if you're eating a bunch of junk that. food that eats up to right. a certain amount of calories. And the other thing is I'm cooking. Right. Because I like big food, mm -hmm. and, I, and little bits of food make me angry. So I I don't do any processed food. I'm cooking vegetables. So I can have a whole lot of vegetables right, right. and be happy. And it gets easier yeah. once you do it. So let's yeah. look at the two most popular ones. Now, the fact of the matter is there's 100 million people using food tracking apps. Mm -hmm. The two most popular for many, many years now are MyFitnessPal mm -hmm. and Lose It. Mm -hmm. And I think, Cassandra, you say you're using Lose It. This one here we're showing is MyFitnessPal. Which I have used in the past. And, and I have, yeah. Coming up with messages, it's like, we haven't seen you in a while. Oh, wow. Right. You haven't tracked in three days. So what business. Katrina's <laughs> alluding to is there's reminders. So both of these apps have great features. They have social aspects where you can share. Uh, with friends, you can track your progress, you enter your food information, you can track your exercise. There's premium features where you can um, exclude the calorie part where you're focused on, for example, if I'm working with someone who has diabetes, mm -hmm. metabolic syndrome, PCOS, they need to focus on carbs. Mm -hmm. And with the uh, um, premium features, you can focus maybe on your macronutrients of, of what you're taking versus right. just the calories, whereas you went over 500 calories today, and that might not be motivating and the right step for some people. Right, right. So then Lose It is the other app, and that's the one that has um, very similar features, and we're showing it here. Again, tracking your information, social aspects. They both have that barcode feature where if something has a, a you know package item, you can put it in there. I think my fitness pal beats lose it in one area. I think they have a better restaurant um, database. So if you're going out to your favorite you know chain type restaurant like a Chipotle, mm -hmm. you can put all that in there really easily. Um, they have um, party foods in there. So a lot of people say, well, how do I know how much the meatballs are? Well, you're going to be in the ballpark. It might not be exactly how right. it was, but and you're I in the always, ballpark. I always estimate up mm -hmm. higher. Sure, yeah. sure. Then another app I like is one called Before I Eat. And I think this one's a little bit of a hidden gem because it focuses on what, like how you're eating, not necessarily what. So you may know, all right, I get it. I need to eat wiser, more vegetables, whatever. This app is geared to work on your eating behavior, your urges, your cravings. So maybe you struggle with nighttime eating. Maybe you struggle with stress eating. And what it is, is there's voice commands that can come on and coach you when you're in the moment. Put it down! Right. Put it down! 
<laughs> well, it'll say, let's have some deep breaths here. What are you, you know, what's going through your mind? Let's think about this. And then there's a little section you can write little notes. It's a buck for this app. Wow. It's a great buck yeah. to, if you want to kind of think about the why you're eating. So, okay, I don't want to eat at night. Why am I eating at night? This coaches you through it, right. for an example. Wow, it's like having a counselor right at your fingertips. For a dollar. I Technology mean, it's awesome. So that one's what, uh, before I eat. Right. And then the last thing is, this is where I come from. I like the low techy, give it to me straight. I think food tracking is great for certain people. But sometimes but, you can't get your little fingers right. on the button. So I do speech to text. That's my low grade. I get out. All smartphones have that dictation feature. Yeah. And I just dictate into my note section what I ate that day. Yeah. Okay. So I might just put in, you know, I had, you know, eggs for breakfast and I had a salad for lunch and I had water, blah, blah, blah. And it's going to come up on your note section. Okay. And then what I like to look at is maybe I'm just looking at big picture. I want to eat more vegetables. I want to drink water. I don't right. want to eat after 8 p.m. And you can just do a voice food log, if you will, nice. without Maybe worrying about yeah. all of the calories and this and yeah. that, but focusing again on your behavior. What am I eating? And just the simple fact of voice texting and then having that note in here. You don't have to punch it in. You just can voice do it. You yes, that in and of itself can really help people. Or maybe you just have a problem meal you want to work on or again one specific habit mm -hmm. I think speech to text voicing and your phone really is helpful because yeah. it's low tech it's easy we can do it and it doesn't take as much time than as a calorie counting all right we will try that yeah because yeah. it goes past your lips and you forget I mean yeah but good news is that it's real easy to have cheesecake but when you get serious there's right. a lot of help for you so if you don't want to write yeah. it down and yeah. you don't want to punch it in right. speak it speak into your it. phone and then you can have that mm -hmm. option too thanks Lisa we appreciate and it and add a child Please, on that. We'll be right back. <laughs>